this quick and easy magical box effect in Elementor with zero plugins and very easy code. Let's go. Page, so we're gonna do, we're gonna open a section. We're gonna get the one with three columns. We're gonna click section. We're gonna change height, minimum height. We're gonna keep it around, say 550. Five fifty. So what we're gonna do is, here we're gonna search up intersection. Going to delete one, and then here we have it. So you click section, intersection, height. I'm gonna leave it at four hundred. So now what we're gonna do is first we're gonna create a background image. I'm going to use black, black as a background image. So we're gonna go back here. And then we're going to add a heading, text editor, and button. So we're going to quickly just style it here and just say box one. You can put in whatever you want to put in here and style it to however you want the font to look like. So we're going to go with new, keep it a little bit smaller. Center it, change the text, change it to white, change the font. I'm going to use prompt, put it to the middle as well. Let's say card example one, follow and subscribe. Can't even supposed to subscribe and there we go and we're gonna put this thing i'm just gonna put in you know subscribe you know put that in the middle we're going to go with a transparent and then we're gonna go to border type solid put it to, to black and a radius and if it font, this is all optional. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just gonna quickly do this. And then that's it. And then, so here, and then we're gonna go to intersection again. Now we're gonna go to border. So we're gonna get solid and we're gonna go to like say width two. And then you're gonna choose any, you could choose any color. I'm gonna go with white. And let's see how that's looking so far. This is a bit too high, so we're gonna push this down a little bit. So we're just going to we can do it this way. Um, let's do it like this. So yeah, that looks perfect. So there we go. So we just added a spacer, left it at 50, and it looks there. Perfect. Everything is perfectly fine. So now we're gonna go back to the border. We're gonna go to hover, and then we're going to solid to and then we're gonna go with white again but this time we're gonna go push it all the way to the left where it's transparent and then you can't see anything there so perfect so when you hover it goes to nothing perfect so now we're gonna uh, just copy copy each of these paste and paste perfect so this is if you want to have it multiple but um we're going to do it for the first one first and then so now we're going to go to custom css and i'm going to get the code the code will be in the description so i'm just going to get the code here and save it in another sorry so i'm just going to get the code here don't know why my computer did that okay Copy it here. So at first you don't see anything when you uh, hover it, when you put in the code, but that's perfectly fine. What you're gonna do is go over here to the main menu, to the main section, not the inner section, but the main one. You're gonna go to advanced, gonna go to Z index, and you're gonna put it to one. 
and then there we go but as you can see it is working oh it's showing but it's showing in front but if you want to put it in the background so what you could do is go back to the intersection go to background and then put it in black and there you have it and another thing so you can see this is the default color that comes with it but if you wanted to change the color this is what you could do also so you can change the color so first we're just going to do this just so i can get the color code so we're going to pick um, random colors we're going to pick uh yeah, pick um let's do a red it's going to pick red save um, i'm going to go with another one we're going to go with purple let's go with purple or pink save and then we're going to go with white so what we're gonna do is put this back to, we're gonna copy the code, go back to custom CSS, go back to the code, first color. So you're gonna highlight that, remove it and paste the new one in. Same with the second one. Highlight that, get the red, get the color there, copy that. Go back to advanced custom CSS, second one. And then we're gonna do that. And then for the last one, we're gonna do white. White is very easy, is the F F F. Copy. Go back to advanced custom CSS and then do the exact same thing. And there we go. And then we're gonna go back to background. You don't have to do this. By the way, but I'm just doing it just to show you that you can change colors. One second. Put it to by mistake. There we go. And there you go. So you can see there at the magic box, you can change colors. Um, you could put it in front and you can do whatever you want. And then thank you guys.